We are going to do some examples on integration. We're going to work out a few examples on integration. Integration of the form derivative of the function of x divided by the function of x. So we look at the first example, we can call it example one. Example one, we have integral of x dx divided by two plus x squared. The method we're going to use here is algebraic substitution. Algebraic substitution. So what we're going to do is replace the denominator. That replacement is what we call substitution. So we have let u, which is our denominator, be 2 plus x squared. So what we do is differentiate the left hand side with respect to u, then you also differentiate the right hand side with respect to x. Get 2x dx. Our objective is to replace the denominator at the same time you also replace x dx. So if we want to get x dx alone on one side, we divide both sides by the coefficient which is 2 so that we get du divided by 2 is equal to x times dx. So if we go along, we have we can rewrite that integral as x dx divided by 2 plus x squared in the form integral of 1 over 2 plus x squared multiplied by x dx. We have only rearranged that one, we have not changed anything. Now we do the algebraic substitution. Our denominator is going to be replaced with u. So we have 1 divided by u multiplied by our x dx is du divided by 2. This one can further be rearranged as integral of 1 over 2 multiplied by du divided by u. Because a half is a constant, it can be factored out of the integral sign as 1 over 2 integral of du divided by u. Integration of du divided by u gives us natural logarithm. So we have 1 over 2 natural logarithm of u. Because this is an indefinite integral, we add a constant of integration. Remember, we didn't have u. We only let our denominator be represented by u. So after we have done the integral, we are going to replace that u with 2 plus x squared and we remain with the integral of x dx divided by 2 plus x squared is equal to 1 over 2 natural logarithm of 2 plus x squared plus a constant of integration and that perfectly works out our first example first example so we are using algebraic substitution 2 plus x squared is an algebraic expression so we can do a replacement of that one we call it substitution because it's algebra this expression here is algebraic we call that process as algebraic substitution perhaps if we do another example it can sink the point home I'm going to do another example. Let's do another example here. Let's call this one example two. Example two. And it reads, we are getting the integral of 2x dx divided by the square root of 4x squared minus 1. 
that example is the same as example one, only that in the denominator we have a square root. We're still going to use algebraic substitution because the expression in the root sign is an algebraic expression. So we say let our 4x squared minus 1 be equal to u. We again differentiate that expression. We get du is equal to 8x dx. We want to make x dx subject of the equation. We divide both sides by 8. So that du divided by 8 is equal to x dx. Then we are going to substitute x dx into our integral. We also substitute 4x squared minus 1 into the integral. Where do we end? Remember, we have the integral of 2x dx divided by the square root of 4x squared minus 1. This can be written as the integral. We can take 2 outside because it's a constant. 1 divided by the square root of 4x squared minus 1. Then we multiply this one by x dx. We can now comfortably do the substitution. So the integral of 2x dx divided by the square root of 4x squared minus 1 can be written as 2 the integral of 1 over the square root of u because you have replaced 4x squared minus 1 with u then you're multiplying that one by x dx x dx is given by du divided by 8 we can factor this 8 outside here we remain with 2 divided by 8 the integral of du over the square root of u remember from your year one you are given uh, some hints on how to deal with cases where you have a square root and i want to quickly write it somewhere here so don't mind you're going to have the square root of a sorry the square root of a is equal to a raised to a half because n root of a is equal to a raised to 1 over n another thing that we're going to apply here is 1 divided by a can be written as a raised to negative 1 so if we have 1 over a raised to a half this is like a raised to negative a half that information is going to be very relevant in this so this one is going to be 1 over 4 the integral of du divided by this is u raised to a half it's a fraction so you can apply the principle of fractional indices as 1 over 4 the integral of u raised to negative a half du now everything else is in terms of u then we can proceed to integrate and remember this is an indefinite integral so we have a quarter into if you integrate this one we simply take the power or the index we add one divide by that index plus one then we add a constant of integration what does this one give us it gives us a quarter into u raised to a half 1 plus negative a half gives us positive a half divided by 1 over 2. Then we add constant of integration. We can flip the denominator and have 2 divided by 4 u raised to a half add constant of integration. Then do the substitution of u because we said u is equal to sorry mm u is equal to 4x squared minus 1. So we have a half times our u is 4x squared x squared minus 1. But that one is raised to a 
Aha, we add constant of integration. We again apply that in our result, and this gives us a half times the square root of 4x squared minus 1. We add a constant of integration, and that is how we do algebraic substitution with examples on integration. Perhaps we do one more example that touches on trigonometry. So let's do a last example quickly. Our last example, so we call it example 3. It's also of the same form, the derivative of function of x divided by a function of x. Our third example, our third example is we're going to get the integral of tan x with respect to x. We are going to apply some knowledge of trigonometry. We know that tan x is equal to sin x divided by cos x. So we substitute this one here, get the integral of tan x dx is equal to, instead of tan, we have the integral of sin x divided by cosine of x with respect to x. If you look at this one closely, it can be written in the form the sine of x dx divided by cos x. Again, we use algebraic substitution. We let our denominator, which is cos x, be u. So that if we differentiate both sides, we get du is equal to sine x, but this one is negative dx. So what has happened here is we are going to have a new substitution of positive with negative. So to make this one positive, we can divide both sides by negative 1. So we have negative du is equal to positive sine of x dx. So where sine x dx is, we replace it with negative du. And how far do we go? We can now create some space here. Create some space here quickly and proceed with the integration. So we do the substitution here. The integral of tan, integral of tan x dx is now going to be the integral of we have sin x dx. Instead of sin x dx, we have negative du. So we have negative du divided by our denominator cos x has been substituted with u. So we have here divided by u. This gives us, we can take the negative 1 outside the integral and have negative the integral of du divided by u. Again, we realize that this can reduce to negative the logarithm of u. Because it's indefinite, we add a constant of integration. So this becomes negative ln. Our u is, we replaced it with cos theta, cos x. So we have cos x. Then we add constant of integration. That is how we get the tan integral of tan x dx. Perhaps those three examples can suffice to cover up on uh, integration of equations of the form derivative of function of x divided by the function of x using the method of algebraic substitution. When we meet in the next lesson, we are going to do another method of integration and I think I'll give you more examples on that. We stop the lesson at that moment.